Hello, this is Steve Equals True. Welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. Please visit our blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, tips, tricks, and everything Excel. Okay, uh, you may have been trying to build an Excel candlestick chart like you see here and having problems. I always run into problems trying to make this and I wanted to share some tips, tricks, and other ways to make this Excel stock chart. This candlestick chart has an open, uh, which is, since this is black, it looks like it's down. Um, and so there's an open point right there. There's a closed point right there. This is the low of the stock over the day. And this is the high on the stock of the day. If this candlestick was white, um, it would mean the stock went up during the day. Uh, and these points right here would be reversed, but the vertical line would still have our high and low for the day. But trying to graph this can cause people a lot of headaches, and let's see about how to make that happen a little easier. First, before I show you the best way to format it, let me show you ways that I tried normally in Excel to format this. I might say, okay, let me just do Tuesday. I'm going to go up to my Insert Ribbon. I'm going to go to Other Charts. I'm going to go to this candlestick chart. You can see here I get this error to create the stock chart and arrange the data on your sheet in this order. Opening price, high price, low price, closing price, use dates or stock names as labels. Well, I've got Tuesday, so it's not a date, but I thought I had everything else in there. Let me, uh, uh, let's go ahead and do the next one. So I said, okay, let's change it to a date. I went up to my insert ribbon, went to the other stock charts here open high low close same error okay so let's try and see if I add titles up here open high low close go to my insert ribbon go to the other charts button go to the stock charts open high close low close nope get an error there change this to a date notice I've got numbers in here instead of open high low close you'll get that same error once again. So let's try just text. So I've got a date here. I've got labels up here in text. I'm going to highlight that range. Do my other chart. Do the open, high, close. I get an error. All right, so let's see. I'm going to do all caps as text instead. Still getting that error. And uh, so let me see if we can, um, I've got one blank in here. Try and do it again. Of course, we get an error. So now I'm going to just, I've got open, high, low, close. I'm going to keep trying to make it. That one won't do it. So what you really need to do is you need to put this stock label in here, like IBM. And I'm highlighting this, but see, I've got numbers in here. This is not going to work because I've got numbers as my label headers. It's not going to work normally in Excel, like line chart, column chart, all sorts of things would actually end up working for you. If you even just leave that upper row blank and highlight it like that, go to other charts, you will still continue to get this error. All right, let me scroll down. Here's what will work for you. Right here you can see this is what you would want to do as the standard open, high, low, close stock chart or a candlestick chart in Excel. You need the stock name in the upper left hand corner or some sort of text or number. You need an actual date, not a day like Tuesday or anything else. If you do not have a date in here, this will not work. Also, you're going to need text up here. Numbers will not work in this upper label row area. And then finally, you need your values for the stock price. So if you highlight this range, go to the insert ribbon, other charts, open high, low, close chart, you will see the chart gets created. Now, uh, interestingly enough, you actually do not need these two values right in here. So you can have blanks in there. You don't need the those. And then these ones here actually could be like an A or a B um, stock chart. The, the number, it could be a number instead of a stock name like 789. But you are going to need um, a date. Let me do like, a, sorry, 789. Let's format that as an actual number instead of a date. If I highlight this, I've got two blanks for the high and low. Got a date there. I've got a stock name as a number. 
I go up to our insert ribbon, other charts, open high low, close chart, and it will get created for you. So at a minimum, you need this first value here, which is typically the open. You do not necessarily need a label for the high or low, and you definitely need something for the close. These cannot be numbers, but you can change them after the fact. Notice I can change those after the fact here to uh, uh, like say 0 and 1. Uh, I can delete the name there. But if I try and chart this right out of the gate, go up to my insert ribbon, other charts, and then choose that stock chart, you will continue to get this error. So you can fix it after the fact, but you cannot do it when you're first creating the chart. So little uh, gotchas within Excel when it comes to creating a candlestick chart or graph for your opening price, high price, low price, closing price uh, within Excel. Okay, so uh, if you'd like to learn this and other tricks, please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com. Once again, this is Steve True. Please sign up for my blog, and also don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel so that you get these in your inbox right away. Thank you.